Good morning, brothers and sisters. On Good Friday, this very day, we remember the day that Jesus willingly suffered and died by crucifixion as the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. It is followed, of course, by Easter, the glorious celebration of the day Jesus was raised from the dead, heralding his victory over sin and death. Our Lenten journeys have led us to Golgotha, where the ultimate display of reconciliation is seen through the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Do we have it in us to carry the cross with Jesus? To publicly align ourselves with him no matter what the rest of the world tells us? To get dirty for the sake of the gospel? Do we have it in us to follow Jesus' example and submit ourselves to God even when it gets tough? You know, God often asks us to get out of our comfort spots and set ourselves aside for God's glory. God wants us to trust, but we only can do that when we let go and we obey God. More than likely, Simon, you know, had other things to do than to get personally involved in Jesus' crucifixion. God brought beauty out of the brokenness of the cross. God gives beauty for our ashes. God's sacrifice offers forgiveness for our sins. The power of the resurrection, brothers and sisters, gives hope for our future. So as we enter into this weekend, may we take a closer look at the reality of it all. The suffering of the cross, the huge sacrifice that Christ paid for each and every one of us, the pain that was endured, the great cost of Jesus' gift, the love that was shown, the freedom that Christ offers. You know, it's not a very flowery picture of fluff and stuff. But it is the most powerful story that is ever told. Let us pray. Dear God, we remember today the pain and suffering of the cross. And all that Jesus was willing to endure so that we could be set free. He paid the price of such a great sacrifice to offer us the gift of eternal life. Help us to never take for granted this huge gift of love on our behalf. Help us to be reminded of the cost of it all. Forgive us for being too busy or distracted by other things. For not fully recognizing what you freely gave and what you have done for each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, that by your wounds we are healed. Thank you that because of your huge sacrifice, we can live free. Thank you that sin and death have been conquered and that your power is everlasting. Oh, God, thank you so much for Jesus and the cross and the blood that was shed for us all. And it's in your name we pray this very day. Amen.